Smell that? That's two-stroke gas. Because we just started to tip the R up. As you can see, the mud trail it left behind when it left. It's a little foggy in here. A little foggy because of the 250R. It's mosquito spray. I wonder where it went. Today we're going to start with washing and kind of like evaluating the situation, seeing what we're going to need. So we're going to go get the pressure washer. I'm not getting any good ones out. I'm just getting out the little Ryobi electric pressure washer. Let's go. Pizza! All right. All right. So, uh, pressure washing the uh, 250R here just to see what, um, see how good it'll clean up, what we're gonna need to do to it, uh, make it looking good again. Uh, so I'm just gonna have pressure. I saw this old ride list for sale, 10 years old, and it looked Duh. All right, guys. So we uh, Ben, can you show up? Why? Hey, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. Ben, show up. All right, so we got the. I should yell over you. I pressure wash my old plastics in the snow. Wow. All right, guys, so we got the 250R back in here. Uh, I ended up getting the white plastics down and pressure washing them um, really good, and I got the clear off of them. I'll show you some nice before and after pictures of that. Um, I think we're going to end up using the white plastics for now um, just because those plastics have my dad's stickers and stuff on them from when he raced, and they're just overall not in the best condition. These are still pretty, pretty solid as far as the plastic goes, other than the yellowing. So what we're gonna do is hope to get this nice white sheen. Um, we're just gonna try out some different products um, and see what works good on these. So um, let's get to it. I'm just, I, we're gonna evaluate the situation, see what we're gonna need to get. We'll probably end up wet sanding these completely down and painting them, but for now, I want to try to preserve what we got, but I don't see it happening. Whatever. Anyway, we'll tell you what we need to get. I'm going to start trying products. started messing with it um, but if you all were curious a little backstory on this quad um, my dad used to race four wheelers uh, he used to flat track his practice bikes over at my grandparent or his, his race bikes over at my grandparents house um, and this bike here is was his practice bike the one he rode around the farm on just like goofing off um, 
So since it was pretty dungy or whatever, we had a couple sets of plastics just chilling. I figure it was in Facebook Marketplace condition. We're yeah. bringing it back to show, not showroom condition. We're bringing it back to moderate uh, sell back in like 1992. But this this is going to be one that you wouldn't feel bad about taking it on the trail and scratching it up. But, but it would be nice enough to be nice. And um, again. We're kind of running on a budget, just like, I, we're, we don't want to go dumping a ton, ton of money in this. We're kind of working with the resources we have. And um, for example, if we really don't want to go crazy, we could go buy a brand new seat, brand new plastics, but instead we're just going to paint the ones we have because we're not going to just drop 600 bucks. Um, but we're probably still going to have to do general maintenance things and wear items like the front tires, they're gone. Front, it needs front tires. I mean, we'll just go through and make sure the quads what it needs to be um, and uh, I mean there's a there's a, mechanically the quad is is very solid I mean there's a few things um, that, that need uh, some, some, some a little care, bit of love some love um, for, for example the kill switch doesn't work um, that's kind of important to have um, as far as gearing goes we'll probably leave it the same just to run through the trails probably put a new chain on it because this one's I mean a little bit yeah. But when this is done, it should be pretty cool. And I'm excited to have our first complete project roll out of Life in the Garage. So stay tuned for future videos on the 250R. Um, Other four wheelers. I think, I think this is going to turn out pretty sweet. This will be one of the fun, one of the, it'll be a good way to kick off. Uh, or, however, interested in this project, go, uh, go to our channel, go to playlists. Um, to the there, there's a whole playlist on the Dirty Den Side series, um, and there will also be a playlist for the 250R. So if you're interested in um, specific projects, just look for playlists.